Whilst Fallout 4 and 76 have improved gunplay and a much smoother combat experience on the creation engine, the Gamebryo engine Fallout, such as 3 and New Vegas, have slow, janky, buggy, and frustrating gunplay. Quite frankly, it sucks balls. This is a problem because Fallout New Vegas is a first-person shooter game, and the gun your character uses takes up more than a fifth of the total screen space. In this video, I'm going to be using vanilla-friendly mods to fix and enhance Fallout New Vegas' gunplay by making it less frustrating, smoother, more responsive, and more consistent. The keywords here are vanilla-friendly and enhance. I'm not gonna turn the game into Call of Duty or throw things out of balance gameplay-wise. So if you're a New Vegas purist, the 50 or so mods in this video could be right up your alley. This this video contains a hidden Steam code for a copy of Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition. If you already own the game, don't be an asshole. The code is for viewers who've always wanted to play New Vegas but couldn't purchase the game for whatever reason. Back to the video. Let's start with animations, but first. What role do animations play in enhancing gunplay? Weapon animations contribute to the overall immersion of the game. When animations accurately reflect the handling, firing, and reloading of a gun, we feel more connected to the in-game world. They also influence the feel of aiming and impact of recoil. But beyond functionality, they also contribute to the overall aesthetic appeal of the game. Let's begin. Now I'm gonna use a combo of the two most comprehensive and vanilla-friendly weapon reanimation packs on Nexus. Anniversary Animations Pack overhauls animations for the majority of the game's guns, mainly the firing animations. Some guns, most notably rifles and shotguns, come with two extra firing animation variants, contributing more authenticity to the handling of the guns in question. Moreover, FNV Clean Animations is compatible with Anniversary Animations and also overhauls a lot of the gun's animations. But what makes this pack different is its emphasis on fixing and correcting many issues like clipping and reload cancelling. All the new animations are clean, smooth, and snappy. And while they're more impressive than the vanilla ones, they still stay true to Fallout style and adhere to the game's reload times and balance. At times, you'll even mistake them for vanilla animations. However, the weapon's firing animations are still often very synthetic or unnatural, and that's because they lack kick especially automatic guns. The animations seem out of sync with the gun's sound and fire rate. To help fix this issue, I'm gonna use view model recoil. Now automatic weapons will look like they pack more punch, and firing animations will look more authentic. Unfortunately, the same problem plagues the firing animations when aiming down sights as well. Iron sights, recoil, animations, K and VSE will take care of that. But the truth is, firing, jamming, and reload animations were only half the problem. From my view, the biggest problem is the kinetic or or physics-based animations, or lack thereof. Guns don't really react at all when you're moving, so let's add some weapon bouncing and bopping for when the player is walking, using Frozen Hit Rock Emotion. This mod is a blend of lock emotion animations by various modders. I'm gonna couple that with B42 Weapon Inertia, which adds resistance for the firearm to changes in its state of motion when you move the camera. Plus, Iron Sight Inertia, which will do the same thing but whilst aiming down sights too. While I'm at it, I'll also grab Smooth True Iron Sight's camera, which will patch up the jarring transition to aim down sights. And finally, for the cherry on top of this delicious cake of animations, I'm getting FPS weapon lowering to add the ability to bring down your gun when you're not using it or engaging in non-combat activities. This is part of standard gun handling procedures and safety protocols, which will help you relax and let your guard down during peaceful situations. Like who goes around talking to people pointing a gun at their face. Howdy. And now with all the mods in this section, guns simulate realistic motion and responsiveness, capturing the physical behavior of guns in a dynamic way. Fluid and visually pleasing animations improve our enjoyment of the gunplay experience. Fluid movement enhances the player's sense of control, making the game experience more pleasant. It also directly affects aiming accuracy, which is a major problem in this game. So I'm gonna use a few mods to enhance the player movement physics. Fallout New Vegas has very janky player movement. Sometimes it's slippery, other times too sticky, and the switch can happen at the drop of a dime, which makes trying to maneuver around in combat insufferable at times. I'm gonna try to remedy this with walking inertia. The mod implements movement inertia in first person. This adds a layer of immersion and a better sense of control over your character as the movements feel more predictable and responsive. Dramatic Inertia does the same thing but for third-person movement. This mod touches upon every single third-person animation aside from sneaking, firing, and idle stances. Couple this with diagonal movement and playing the game in third-person will feel much more exciting, fluid, and, well, dramatic. You may think Dramatic Inertia animations look goofy at first glance, but trust me, all it takes is some getting used to and you'll begin to 
appreciate how polished and awesome the mod is. Soon enough, it'll have 360 movement compatibility and then movement in New Vegas would look and feel a lot more like some of the best third person shooters like Red Dead Redemption 2 and Uncharted. Lastly, I'm gonna head into Stewie's Tweaks and turn on this option. This will prevent your character slipping after you've let go of the movement keys. Hopefully, the combination of these mods helps somewhat in unjanking the movement in this game. Another crucial part of gunplay is visuals, like muzzle smoke, bullet impacts, casings, and tracers. All those visual aspects of gunplay make weapons feel destructive and give the player better feedback to their input. And with the mods here, shootouts are gonna be much more exciting. Effect Textures Enhanced or EXE will up the quality of all visual effects. Explosions, lasers, plasma, rockets, everything. On top of that, I'm gonna grab Impact. This mod will upgrade the aesthetic consistency of all bullets, shells, and their varying impacts per caliber. Bullet Tracers for New Vegas implements tracers for all ballistic weaponry in the game. When previously only automatic weapons had tracers, this mod is necessary because it'll show you exactly where your shots are going and therefore make it easy for you to improve your aim and accuracy. Not only that, but you'll also be aware of where NPCs are firing by being able to see their gunshot tracers as well. This will make you respect and fear hostile NPCs during gunfights and may help you take better cover or dodge incoming projectiles. Moreover, enhanced bullet impacts exaggerates the decals like dust, sparks, and smoke. It'll also add probably the best muzzle smoke effect available for New Vegas. B42 Drop Mag makes it so you drop magazines on the floor upon reload. I don't care if it doesn't make sense or if it's not immersive that I'm throwing away magazines in post-apocalyptic America. There's nothing quite like the sound of an empty magazine hitting the floor at a school. Lastly, New Vegas Energy Visuals Plus 2 will make it so energy and explosive projectiles, among other things, emit light. So, to all of you who like to darken their nights in the game, if you ever get lost and can't see where you're going, just launch a mini nuke to light the way. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shots. With these visual enhancements, combat is gonna feel a lot more fun, urgent, and overall exciting. Things will just have more of an impact on how you handle combat situations now. Sound is essential to gunplay. A lot of the time, we choose a weapon as our favorite just based on the sounds it makes alone. But functionally, auditory feedback from gunfire helps us gauge what type of weapon is being used, its distance, and direction of shots. This is where things get really awesome. I'm about to drastically enhance the gunplay soundscape. JSRS Sound Mod 2. This mod adds almost 600 new sounds for a little over 100 vanilla weapons. That's 6 sounds per gun. All Fallout's firearms now sound destructive and a tad louder. Indoors, gunfire sounds isolated with a tiny bit of reverb. Outside, you'll hear gunshots echo in the open air of the wasteland. Not just yours, but others too. And with each firearm producing its own distinct sound, you'll be able to tell even from a distance what kind of weapon an NPC is firing. And with 3D audio, you can identify from which direction you hear that gunfire. Then, with Bullet Snap Redux, you'll know if you're the one being shot at. But firearms aren't the only weapons in need of an audio makeover. Energy and heavy weapons need one too. MNTL is gonna make energy weapons sound a lot more punchy. And all explosion sounds overhaul enhances explosion sounds by making them more gentle on my ears. Finally, I'ma combine ADS SFX and bulk weapon draw and holster sounds to make ADSing audible and enhance the gun's draw and holster SFX. Shootouts now sound like a proper war zone. If you're a retired war veteran, those 8 mods will surely trigger your PTSD.
Right now, maybe the most crucial part of this video, hit feedback. It serves as a visual or auditory cue that you've hit your target. It helps distinguish the impact of different weapons, and if done correctly, it should grant us a feeling of satisfaction. New Vegas's NPCs barely react to getting shot aside from stagger animations, which suck anyway. This leaves us unsatisfied after landing shots. So I'm gonna use dramatic staggering to add way more clean, smooth, and satisfying purple animations. But more importantly is the addition of Mad Ace's Ragdolls mod. It features death reactions, locational force, hit reactions, and drag doll momentum. This mod is essential because it'll aid you in knowing where your shots are landing by showing you visual feedback with how your target physically reacts to getting shot. Dismemberment tweaks will make it so not all weapons can cut or explode limbs. Now only weapons powerful enough can do that. This is necessary so that you can get an idea of how much damage a gun can do, which is crucial in deciding your weapon of choice depending on the opposition or combat circumstance. Moreover, my custom hit marker sounds will add a satisfying vanilla hit feedback Back sound upon landing a shot. The sound will differ depending on whether you landed a body shot, headshot, or critical hit. They're most noticeable when firing at long range. This mod is only a minor inconvenience when shooting robots from afar, as the sound of flesh and blood doesn't really fit them. It's preferable that you activate this setting in Stewie's Tweaks, just so you won't hear the XP sound effect after every kill. But say you're missing your shots and can't see where they landed. Therefore, you won't be able to adjust your aim accordingly. That's where increased bullet impact LOD comes in. Now, you'll be able to know where to reposition your sights and hit your target. Shooting people feels so much more satisfying now. When you see and hear indications of successful hits, it contributes to a sense of accomplishment. This positive reinforcement enhances the fun factor of the game and motivates you to keep playing. It's time we fixed up the gameplay mechanics to really tie everything in this video together. I'll see about adding things like recoil, ballistics, and enhancing outdated elements. So we've gone and added recoil animations, but recoil doesn't actually exist as a mechanic in the game. But with Immersive Recoil 2, I'll add an extra layer of complexity to the gunplay in the way of weapon recoil. This mod is built to be very compatible, so it'll most likely work with any weapon mods out there. And my favorite feature is that there's some crosshair return as well as a lot of configuration options. With physics-based ballistics, the most compatible and lightweight bullet ballistics mod on Nexus, I'll add caliber-specific bullet drop and velocity to the game. And now you understand the value of being able to tell where your bullets are going and whether or not they're landing. VATS is the adaptation of the precision targeting system from classic fallouts in 3D fallouts. But mostly, VATS was a way for Bethesda to patch up holes in their poor execution of gun-based combat. Yes, VATS is cool, but it makes the game boring. It was done a little bit better in Fallout 4. However, as usual, modders just do a better job than Bethesda, with just assorted mods and bullet time improved. With those mods, you can completely ignore the VATS and instead use a fully implemented slow motion, live action targeting system. All the VATS perks will also apply in some way to this new feature. Now we can have VATS but without sacrificing the need to actually use our brain and controls. Soft lock aim assist will aid you in locking onto your target if your crosshair is close enough to an NPC. This is pretty much necessary with how janky aiming can sometimes be. Furthermore, realistic movement will remove the unpredictable dodging and sharp turning NPCs do in combat because it's total bullshit. With recoil, bullet ballistics, and bullet time, gunplay now demands more skill and strategic planning from the player. Therefore, it should be much more satisfactory to do well in gunfights. In this section, we're gonna be overhauling the relevant pieces of user interface in the game. B42 Optics replaces the vanilla scope overlay with dual render scopes with variable zoom. Need I say more? This is pretty much a must-have mod by now, especially with this mod list. Everything else in here is optional but highly recommended. B42 Weapon Inspect adds a slight bit of emergency by allowing you to visually and manually check your weapon's condition and ammo. Useful for when you don't use the HUD and instead have custom health and AP visuals. This mod adds new and highly configurable screen effects for when you get hit or your HP is low. And lastly, faster Pip-Boy animation will cut the Pip-Boy animation time in half. This will help with combat urgency and keep you in the action. This is the last section and it consists of mandatory bug fixes to ensure you'll have a pleasant and smooth experience during combat. In the next video, we're gonna be overhauling the graphics in a vanilla-friendly way.